What's up, my name is Samuel Lees. I'm standing right now in Wigan. How do you get rich in property investment? What you do is you buy the worst house on the best street and you buy the biggest house. So this house right here is one of the biggest houses in the street. It was an absolute wreck. It was completely run down and it was bought by one of my good friends and students, Mohammed Ullah. He's refurbished it. He's making a killing on this house. You're not going to believe the figures. Let's go speak to him. Let's go find out what he's doing. Mohammed! Yeah! Hey, how are you? My guy! <laughs> are you okay? So, this is the guy, how man. So, this property, how much did you pay for this? 105. 105 yeah. grand, and now it's like a quarter of a million pound house. Yeah. You're going to find out why it's so expensive in a minute, because this makes him a fortune. How much of your money did you use to buy this? None of my own money. None of your own money? No, it's never my own money, no. <laughs> <laughs> Show us around, bro. Mate, this is this is a proper HMR. You like it? Mate, yes. Yeah. Fire doors, proper fire doors. Oh yeah. House rules. Yeah. Love this. Oh, Check out nice. this kitchen. Nice. So this area. is this is communal then. This is communal HMO as you can imagine. And uh, HMO stands for what? House of multiple occupancy. And how many rooms have you managed to get so out? We've of managed this? to make six bedrooms, four with en suites. The other two have got their own individual bathrooms as well. It's HMO standards. Yeah. So yeah, I've got that. I can do it as uh, six months ASTs as a HMO anytime. But I didn't do that. Yeah. What I decided to do was put it on service accommodation as six individual rooms on a short stay let. Okay. By doing that, the, the cash flow was a lot better. Is it ridiculous? It's amazing. So hold on. So you bought it for 105 grand. Yeah. You refurbed it into a nice six bed HMO. Yeah. So you're doing it room by room, all separate, all separate tenants. Yeah. But on short stay lets as well. Short so it's like a lets. HMO combined with an SA. Yeah. How much did the refurb cost? 57,000 at the end. How much profit did you make last month on this house? 5,400 pounds. <gasps> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh my, so Net. that's after everything. Net. That's financial freedom on one deal. One deal. <laughs> You've made it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. And that's like not even, that's like a winter month as well. Yeah. I can't believe that, bro. If you did it as a HMO, what would you be making, like one and a half grand? That was what the numbers were saying, yeah. And I wasn't really happy with that. <laughs> Holy crap. I, I did this with none of my own money. Bridging, yeah. yeah. Um, loans, um, credit cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, personal loans. Um, wow. You know, but on good great, rates, presumably. On, on great rates. So I bought the house with my loans for, for that 105 grand. And then yeah. obviously that And you put a penny in? I didn't All buy any. The guy that I bought the house off, after I bought the house, we right. went for a coffee right. and uh, I was explaining what I was going to do. And he ended up loaning me the money as well to do the refit. So what? So the money that you bought the house with from loans, the seller got, yeah. you then contacted him and said you wanted to tell him what your plans were. Yeah. He used that loan money and re-loaned it to you again to do the refurb, so you got a free refurb effectively. Correct. Funny how money goes round. Oh <laughs> my goodness. So how much did he loan you? <clears throat> it was 30 grand at first and we needed another five grand, 35 grand. And then you, the refurb in total was only 55? Yeah. And what about the other 20? Um, it all came from other loans, credit cards and bridging and... So how are you going to pay all those people back, all those loans back? It all comes back. Well, th th we've had the valuation in and yeah. now we're exiting out of the bridge and all the loans, everything's going to get paid So back. you're getting a new loan to pay off the old loans? Yeah, a mortgage. A mortgage? A mortgage. And now because the house is a lot more expensive... A lot more valuable. Like it's like what, about 250? 250, So you're yeah. going to then get a mortgage to pay off the loans, yeah. leave you with a free house and you're renting out room by room as SAs. Yeah. You're a smart kid, bro. Thank you very much. Learned from the best. 
<laughs> Let's go look at some of the rooms. Come on, let me show you around. That room's taken at the moment. This is a room two. So they're like little hotel rooms. Yeah. What you've made them. And you know what's really interesting? To, in order to stay here, we've been in the northern area. We were around Manchester, Stockport, Liverpool. Hotels are all full. Yep. They're they all sure fully are. booked. So you're listing this presumably on the same places that the hotels list their own yep. rooms. Airbnb, booking.com, all So the you're platforms. literally, these rooms are on booking.com right now. They sure are, yeah. And how much are people paying a night to stay here? So weeknights it's £49 plus a £20 cleaning fee. Okay. Weekends £59 plus a £20 cleaning That's fee. That's fair enough. Bargain, it's, um, I'm like the Premier Inn. Yeah. I'm like, but nicer. Yeah, and you've and you yeah. got en suites in all the rooms. We've got en suites, we've got um, kitchen. And the location's area. pretty banging. Location's absolutely brilliant, yeah. Um, one of the big things for me is about having it in the right location. Yeah. Now, the reason I knew this was the right location, <laughs> you're going to love this, is because um, 500 yards up the road, we've got a premier in. Right, <laughs> and they've spent probably hundreds of thousands of pounds on their due diligence market research in yeah. order to do a premiere in there yeah, they've right. spent tens of thousands getting it just furnished alone yeah, right. and then you've gone they've done the market research for me boom it's gonna work bang it's gonna work and it does work it does so would you say that they're, they're your biggest competitor i wouldn't say competitor they're there everybody's making their uh, yeah, right, okay. making their living yeah um, but they're, when they're fully booked like we were going to hotels yesterday and they were saying we're fully booked and they were saying, try this hotel, try that hotel. Yeah. yeah. Like the hotels aren't desperate for people to rent their rooms. No. People are desperate to rent the rooms of the hotels. Yeah. Especially yeah. the weekends. What I've noticed is people are preferring something like this than a hotel. Why? So you've got contractors coming into the area and they need the washing machine. They want the kitchen. They want the fridge. Right. You so know, you've got the kitchen, the communal area. Yeah. You've got a key safe outside they can let themselves in rather than to mess around and check in, check no, out. No key safe. A digital uh, keypad on the door. I went yeah. to one hotel yesterday. We booked. We got there. The checking process took forever. Yeah. And then once we'd finished checking in and going through everything, and they then said, uh, have you got your ID? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I got my ID. No, give me a minute. I was looking for it on my phone. Spent five yeah. minutes looking for it on my phone. I finally found it. Yeah. And I was like, there you go. And they went, no, we need um, a physical copy. I was like, oh my freaking, uh, I lost it, man. I'm just yeah. like, we need Mo's rooms everywhere. I just had that myself. I just had that myself. The guests have actually checked into this room and yeah. they've gone out now. Oh, so this is uh, actually booked as well? This is actually well. booked. The checking <laughs> in was three o'clock. Right. And uh, I knew you were coming around, so brilliant. They phoned up early. They said, we're in the area. Can we check it? I said, well, I'm filming today. But yes, you can. They've actually left the stuff underneath here. Oh, right. Uh, and they said, oh, it said on there that we needed a copy of our driving license. I said, don't worry. I've seen you. Yeah. Face to face, you're all right. Yeah. A bit more flexible. And that's right? what you've got to look at. You, you've got to look at your customers. You've got to know your customers. Yeah, it's Why great. You? So there's one more room we can go in. Yes. Can we disturb some of the guests and chat to them, do you reckon? Yeah, I'm sure somebody will come down. Yeah. 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 All right. So I've put some house rules and so on, check out instructions, Wi-Fi, if they need to extend their stay. You yeah. Know, direct booking. Direct booking at, say, 15% plus VAT. Mm. Um, to a lot of people, because I know in our service accommodation properties, we get a lot of relocators. Yeah. So if people are looking to move house, maybe they've sold the house, yeah. they've got a few weeks, and then they'll stay in one of my houses, but then a few weeks sometimes turns into a few months. Correct. They keep extending it. Correct. They're a guest. Correct. They've got no tenancy rights, they're paying a premium, they're happy, they've got the flexibility, they've not got to get removal mans, it's all furnished. Yep. They've got the freaking Wi-Fi code right there. Exactly. I mean, you've got the... I just, I just put these up, yeah. simple, um, printed it off and just stuck it on. We will frame them and make them really nice and so on, but it just gives the general information. Clean as you go, close windows and lock doors. No drugs and no drunk or disorderly behavior. Smoking allowed in the garden only. Yeah. Pets not allowed, no music allowed. No extra guests allowed to stay. Yeah. Events and parties not permitted and quiet time from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. Yeah, Every, everybody knows the house rules it's as bad. soon as they walk in. Yeah. You know, we've got six rooms here, six different people to cater for and everybody's got to know them rules. Yeah, Simple although that. knowing you, if they did have a party, you would join in the party. Yeah, oh, of course. Yeah. Come on, take me upstairs. <laughs> <laughs>
three, four, five, uh, six. These rooms are occupied at the moment, right. so obviously we can't go in there. But this one's this one's free uh, okay. for now. So come in, have a look at this one. What kind of an occupancy rate do you currently get? My first month, I hit an eighty-one percent occupancy rate. Very good. Very good. A lot of these bookings with myself managing. Yeah. I converted them from booking.com. When they wanted to stay longer, I converted them direct. Yeah. So that helps massive, massively. Mm. When, you, when your customers come and stay, y you find out what you need to find out. What uh, kind of customers do you have? I've had builders here. I've had doctors here. I've had nurses here. I've had students here. Yeah. Yeah. How long do they typically stay for? Um, I've had... I've got... Uh, a guy there that's been over a month now. Don't tell me about him because we're we'll bumping him. Yeah. What kind of? How long do they typically stay? Two weeks, four weeks. Um, oh, I've got a forty-seven day booking in. Right. As we speak. Direct. That's great. The beauty of why? The, why is it so popular? Why do people stay so long? Because I imagine at Premier Inn, you'd only stay there for a night or two nights. Yeah. Why are people staying here for like weeks and weeks? Well, it's it's the homely effect. It's, it's the house hotel. Right. It's the house hotel. You're cracking the market here, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's the new way to yeah. book a hotel. Why, why go to a big chain that don't care, that don't, you know... How much time do you spend managing this? Because you're managing it yourself. Obviously, you're saving money doing that. Yeah, massively. It's all on my phone. I've got my app set up. Right, bum, 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 bum. Phone call, thank you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I've got the cleaners set up, I've got everybody set up, I've got the young lad that works for me, I've told, said to him, look, this is what, if the cleaner doesn't turn up, he knows how to clean, I know how to clean, we, you know, it's all set up nicely. Has every room got a private on yeah. suite or private bathroom? Every room's got its own bathroom. We've, four, four of the rooms in this building have got en suites and mm. two of them have got their own bathroom. Yeah. So I, I think personally, everybody likes their own bathroom. They need it. They need it. Then yeah. You, yeah. If you've not got, I think with a HMO, some people might share, but I think if you're doing service accommodation, yeah. you, it's not illegal, but you're going to get the wrong type of clientele, aren't you? If you've, if you've, if you've got a shared bathroom. Yeah, you're in a mini, mini hotel, so yeah, they, yeah. they like their own bathroom, and it, yeah, it's really important for the mm. service accommodation side. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously the training that we did taught us how to do the HMOs yeah. and the service accommodations, like all this was learnt. Yeah, the training that you provide. And what you've done cleverly is you've linked some of the strategies. So you've, you've gone through all the HMO training. You're on the academy. Yeah. How's the academy been, by the way? Yeah, it's been brilliant. The academy's, uh, you know, is one of the best moves I've made in my life, you know? And did you use like, did you use your own money to join the academy? Never. Never. <laughs> never. Did you use your own money? What, did, what money did you use to join <laughs> credit the Credit card. So you used a credit card to join yeah. the academy, got all the training, and yeah. then you've used yeah. loans. Loans, credit cards. And you've got yeah. other properties going on. You yeah, just yeah. bought one down the road, right? I've got another one on the go, yeah. Next one's eight bedroom. Wow. Yeah. And talk to me about your plans for this, because this is currently a six bedroom. This is a six but bedroom. you were telling me, what, yeah. what, come, come and show me what you're going to do. <laughs> well, I've got the opportunity yeah. to um, make it an eight bedroom. I can put stairs going up this way and up that way and make uh, another two bedrooms with en suites nice. in up there. This, this room will extend out. It'll have its own en suite as well. I'm looking at about a 40 grand cost to do that. I've, I've got I'm getting plans drawn out. <sighs> and so the thing is, because this is technically a commercial property, I mean, once you've had your books for two years, yeah. I mean, you're talking commercial about- Commercial valuation then. You're talking about a quarter of a million pounds as a bricks and mortar valuation. Yeah. The bricks. Yeah. Once you can get commercial- Two years books on this place is gonna look amazing. Mate, can yeah. you imagine the exactly. value on this? Exactly. Because I think sometimes people are like, so there'll be people in the comments that say there's no way that's worth that much yeah. in Wigan. But yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. It made five grand profit yeah. last month. Exactly. Commercial valuations. Exactly. You that's know, important. so yeah. So you've had a an official Ricks valuation on this. Yeah. And that's it was that a, a commercial or bricks and mortar? No, bricks and mortar. Yeah. What did that come in at? That came in at um, two fifty. Um, and then we've got the commercial valuation element as well. Yeah. Um, you know, which is going to be scarily high. It's going to be very nice. How much time do you spend managing this? Because there's a lot of people moving in, moving out, moving parts. Yeah, lots of moving parts. I've got a good team. I've got the cleaner, cleaner manager there. I know on our 
on our service accommodation intensive, we talk a lot about CCTV, yeah. sound detectors. Yeah. Have you done that? Yeah. No sound detector, it's not been needed. CCTV is important, yeah. Have you got that here? Yeah, I've got where, that. Where is it? It's downstairs, motion detector front Do you door. sit at home and you just watch it sometimes? Yeah, I just watch it at <laughs> home, yeah. I see what's going on? Yeah, as soon as a guest comes in, I can yeah. see them, yeah, brilliant. But the thing is, it's all systemized because they come in, it's all, you've got your cleaners, yeah. so they come in, man, yeah. you've got your, all your online calendar synchronized, yeah. everything's completely systemized. It's all on my phone there, I'll just go on there, there's the app, this is for my business, Evivo, this is where I look at all the bookings, my diary, this is this month's bookings, there you go. I like all these lines on there. Obviously where are we up to Saturday the 12th, so that's all the bookings that we've had. This was my beauty of a month there, look at all them bookings. There's my heating, I control the heating. Um, there's my Stripe payment, an Airbnb, go on to my camera system. Oh, I don't know what's your camera. Keep an eye. Let's see who's in the kitchen, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> there, there you go, there you go. So there's, if I go into the kitchen, there's me, uh, oh, there's, your, there's one yeah. of the guests. There's one of my guests, yeah, this is guest of the month, <laughs> David, yeah. Can we go and That's, chat with him? Yeah, of course we will. Is he a friendly yeah. guy? Oh, he's a brilliant guy, yeah. He's an <laughs> he's absolutely in brilliant the kitchen. Guy. I'm going to go and chat with him. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, yeah. <laughs> David. Yes, yes, yes. My name is Samuel. Well, I just wanted to check in with you, bro, and see yes, how you're yes. enjoying. I'm doing. I'm. I'm. I'm uh, helping Mohammed with his marketing. All right. And I just wondered if you could uh, tell us about how you've enjoyed. Just how long? How many nights have you been here? No, I've been here doing uh, above a month. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They're, they're about yeah. When you first came here to stay, did you plan on staying this long? No, no, no. I could <laughs> just, I just literally wanted to stay just one week. Wow. One week. And you just uh, and, and then I kept moving it, moving it because very comfortable. Yeah. Mo is a very great host. Uh, the apartment well maintained, really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, then Mo has a heart, and he has an attitude that is very kind. What do you think the guests stay in Tamil? The guests, uh, well, the guests always love the place. Uh, every guest that's been here has raved about it. We've got great reviews on Booking.com and uh, Airbnb. So yeah, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure it's all good. It's good, man. Very He's good. a good guy. I've known, I've known Mo for like seven years now. Oh wow. So um, and Mo's been very helpful. Oh, you want to do this? You want to do that? You need to get this. You need to get that. Mm. Helpful. We hit it off, and, and here I am. Yeah, that's great. Well, I really appreciate you know. You allowing us to ask you a few questions. Yes, yes. Wish you all the best in London. Thank you so and, much. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate Lovely. you, David. Yes, yes. Good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Very happy customer here. Yeah, that's what we do, <laughs> mate. He loves you. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. He guy. loves you. Oh, he says one of the reasons that he stayed so long is because of you. Yeah. Customer that's service. Awesome. Customer uh, service. What made you decide to do the garden like this? So, we were running out of money and, <laughs> <laughs> maxed out and, and it was like, uh, yeah, everything's yeah. maxed out and it was like, right, how can I get this garden nice yeah. on a budget? So I went B&Q and got these for like £9 each. I thought, right, that's good. And then I got three tons of stone yeah. and um, that was like £90 a bag, right? And uh, the truck came and we sliced it. We, we put the membrane down first and uh, we, got, we got it done on a budget. How um, much did this cost this, to get this looking like this? Under a grand. Under a grand. Under and it's also grand. low maintenance, right? Yeah, this is... No, got to worry about cutting the grass or anything No, oh, this like is that. garden hack, mate. So financial freedom from one deal. Absolutely yeah. incredible, bro. Final words of wisdom or advice for people wanting to get started in property? <sighs> you got to go for it. You just got to go for it. Um, it's hard. It's not easy, nothing's ever easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. You've got challenges. I won't even call it hard, it's challenges, right? You've got, it's like hurdle jumping. You've got to keep jumping over them hurdles when the challenges come mm. um, and just get it done. Um, mm. Even I was surprised at the numbers on this, right? I was like buzzing over it. We were, I was waiting for that month to end so we can add it all up. Yeah. And I was just buzzing over it. Um, now I know what's what's doable, you know. Scale SA. up now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got another next one in the pipeline. Yeah. And you've also so. been packaging and selling deals. Yep, yep. You deal sourcing away. Yep. Yeah, deal sourcing away. Yeah. Me and Mark, we work, work together. And uh, yeah, we get deals for our investors as well. And yeah, it's win-win for everybody. Amazing. Yeah. 2019, I started the journey, um, you know, in learning about property. Yeah. And I'm so glad 
I learned about property because without that training, I wouldn't have known what I've known to, yeah. to be able to do what I've done, you see. And like anything, you can be anything in life so long as you learn about yeah. it. So long as you get the right training for the right people and be around the right pe people as well. Yeah. Um, vital, vital. And uh, yeah, smashed it. Well, I appreciate your business, man. And I'll tell you something as well. It's about getting the right training, but it's also about putting in the work oh, yeah. and getting through those hurdles. Yeah, and yeah. you've done that like yeah. crazy. Mo's an absolute rock star. Yeah. So Thanks. financial freedom from one deal, yeah. although this is not your only deal, you've got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, I have, yeah. But what I'd say yeah. is, if you want to do the same, connect, join the community. Yeah. I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can come down and spend a day with me at the Property Investors Crash Course. It's one pound, get booked on, and we'll see you next time.